All right, and here is Dragon, part of the Crazy Creatures series, which has a um, uh, yellow roll cage and some uh, chrome rims. And some people, as the, in the words of my friend Monster Jam OCD, say that this would have been known as the Truckin' Pals a version of Dragon, because if you ever heard of a series called Truckin' Pals, yeah, Dragon had a yellow roll cage like this, which is pretty cool. Excuse me there. Sorry, I, I was just getting a warning about low a battery and all. Anyway, so here's the um, uh, dragon that we just got from the um, uh, Double Down Showdown pack on part of Mix 1. So as you can see, it has orange rims, a black chassis, and a... Um, uh, actually a black roll cage and a chrome chassis. Pretty unique. And there is still a chrome chassis. I know my friend Monster Jam OCD can be on the nitpicky side of things sometimes, where he prefers different tire rims. I don't know what your opinion is, though, on the um, uh, chrome tire rims for the um, uh, Dragon with yellow roll cage or like that. But I still do enjoy the chrome chassis. Maybe it kind of lo would look cool if there was a um, uh, orange chassis. Because it's nice to fit rainbows. I mean, we all know that dragon always has orange horns like that and to make the truck look cooler and all there's always an orange windshield wiper on both versions like this but um uh you'll never see the color orange on the real dragon plus the eyes on the side those always get taken off so that way drivers not john zimmer or scott Lidico can see where he's going but what can i say dragon with a yellow roll cage i love it all right, let's move on to our next Here truck. Here he is, the Diesel Eating Beast Brodozer, driven by Heavy D, Diesel Dave, and Colt Steven. But I think the best driver there really is has to be Heavy D Sparks himself, who might be in the All-Star Challenge, as well as one of the competitors for our Foxboro show coming up this Saturday. And also the one who drove Brodozer in the World Finals. You get the idea. So this version of Brodozer is pretty neat. Now here's the um, uh, Double Down Showdown um, uh, Brodozer to compare it to. So we'll start by ha having them nose to nose first. So you'll see that the Double Down Showdown version has yellow tire rims with a um, uh, chrome chassis and a black roll cage. Well, you'll also see on the singles version, which I believe is Arena Favorites, Brodozer's got Black tire rims with yellow bead locks. Also has a yellow chassis with a black roll cage. I remember seeing in the prototype pictures how they were also going to do a yellow roll cage. But I think it looks better with the black roll cage. Because honestly having yellow on yellow that would have taken away from the color of the trucks. Alright now we're going to go along the hood on, on the side by side comparison. So here's the um, uh, singles one. You can see that all of this is highlighted in black. Also, the top is painted black, so that looks like the real truck. While this one has the top painted yellow, and this one is kind of highlighted around yellow. And the DP diesel power is yellow, where this one is black. Nice to have really unique comparisons and um, uh, differences. The only thing that makes them alike is they still haven't gotten rid of this piece yet, because... I remember after the last quarter of last year when Brodozer debuted and all, eventually they got rid of that because it got broken, I think, during one of the shows. But what else can I say? Brodozer, Monster Jam, Diesel-Powered right, Beast. and here is our single release of Zombie here. Zombie definitely looks unique, having um, uh, a chrome chassis with, a, um, uh, with some chrome tire rims. So, if you'll excuse me. Here's the Zombie Madness edition I have so far. The one with the blue tire rims and a um, uh, gray chassis. I don't have the one yet, though, that had the green tire rims, but I look forward to getting it soon. However, rather you get the um, uh, one with the blue tire rims or the, um, uh, or the green tire rims, there are differences between the two of them. Well, I'll try and show you an example. So if you look behind the arm here, 
rather it's this one or the green tired rim zombie madness one you'll see that the ear over here is painted where as the one here on the blue tire rims is um uh, a little bit clear next i'm going to show you the chin detail so you could also see on the zombie madness version rather it's the blue or the green tire rims you'll see that there's a lot more detail on the chin where there's like one tooth missing and all there's also a little bit of blood whereas on the um, uh, singles version as you can see they got rid of that and put in a few teeth so definitely a difference right there especially compared to the Mattel version how they have a few missing teeth and blood coming out like that kind of creepy yeah I remember in the 2014 release of zombie how he had a tie like that which eventually in 2015 was removed to put the battle slammer on but it looks to me even the real zombie as definitely duplicated here on Spin Master it also doesn't have a tie like he did back in his debut in 2013. I remember how zombie also didn't have any arms but ever since they did add arms like that I don't know why but they still decided to not put arms on the Mattel zombie but thank goodness they did with um, uh, Spin Master so praise Spin Master for that. Now let's see if we can see any differences in the back. So far the backs look the same where it says MonsterJam.com, so nothing's changed there. But other than that, welcome to the collection of Mix 3, Zombie. Let's We're almost on. finished with our Mix 3 review. We're already down to one truck after this. Here is Earthshaker. I will tell you, Earthshaker is really, really impressive in a Spin Master design compared to the Mattel design. Now, I know there may be a few things that look a little bit alike. One of them is that this assortment of Earthshaker compared to the Mattel version definitely have black tire rims, but in the Mix 3 Double Down Showdown pack with Radical Rescue, Spin Master Earthshaker is supposed to have yellow tire rims. And I believe there are two versions of Earthshaker as well in Spin Master, featuring a dark yellow or a light yellow, but I'm only sticking with one variant. And there's also going to be even more differences if you look all the way from the hood towards the back. So you can see both of them definitely have the construction tape warnings that go all the way from the hood to the top of the truck. But if you're able to look closely on this version, there's some more construction label warnings all the way to the back over here whereas Mattel doesn't another big difference is is that this is all in die cast um, uh, piece where as with Mattel only only this part over here is made of um, uh, die cast metal whereas this part where the um, uh, bed of the truck is is plastic but this is all die cast from the um, uh, from the front all the way to the um, uh, bed and I gotta say, Spin Master, Spin Master, y'all got very famous by adding um, uh, molded dirt and all into the bed. Now, I know this is not what the real truck looks like, but everything is always fancified with that. And I think that's something they should do with the real truck in the future. And I also do enjoy how there's a MonsterJam.com in the back. But I believe there's supposed to be also an overlap that looks like this, but... For whatever reason on Spin Master, they removed it. Now, one last difference to take a look at is is in between the windows. So if you look very closely here on the Spin Master version, there's actually a bit of an extra windowing right about here. Definitely that's something Mattel didn't have. One last difference to point out is how the Yamaha truck bed works. So you can see here on the Spin Master design that there's a really, really large gap in between over here. And that is definitely what the real truck is supposed to look like. Where here on the Mattel version, they actually decided to put that in kind of like closed lips. So that really detracted from the look of the truck. But Spin Master definitely nailed it because that's what it's supposed to look like. Having that gap in between. So other than that, welcome to the collection Spin Master Earthshaker. One truck well, I go. really gotta hurry this up because I don't have much battery left. But here's our last truck to look at. My very first chase piece in Spin Master Monster Jam since I couldn't get it with Mattel. And here it is. The official training trucks El Toro Loco. 
We're supposed to get more train trucks very, very soon. I believe Mix 4 is definitely featuring the Megalodon one. And then Mix 5 is going to have Gravedigger for train trucks. Mix 6 is going to have Earthshaker. Then there's going to be Zombie and then Dragon. So all for the rest of the mixes, there's definitely always going to be training trucks. So here's how the training trucks El Toro Loco is compared to the regular El Toro Loco. What are you noticing there? Well, half the body is missing. But there's only a small portion of the body because this is what the trucks look like for new drivers to train at what's known as the Monster Jam University. Or this is very good in World Finals qualifying like that. Really, really looks unique. And I know the paint job they did here is a little bit beaten up, but that's what it's really supposed to look like. As if the driver has been training really, really hard rather than beating up the entire fiberglass body like that. Another thing to tell you is that this truck is actually a little bit heavier than this over here. What? Why is that? Because if you're able to look underneath the two of them, this is a plastic base and this is a metal base over here. I know we did have metal bases with the Mattel Hot Wheels trucks and all, like they did with the um, uh, X-Ray versions, but all the training trucks are going to have metal bases and all. So I have a feeling if I put El Toro Loco training trucks in the uh, sign-up series, he's probably going to be really, really fast and all. So there all you right. have Well, that wraps up the um, uh, Mix 3 assortment that I have. So I really hope you enjoy all these trucks I have here. I definitely do hope to complete Mix 2 because I'm going to show you a preview here that I have four of the um, uh, eight Mix 2 assortments, including Scarlet Bandit. Monster Mutt Rottweiler, The Green Jester, and Son of a Digger. All that's missing is Nitro Neon's Grave Digger, Golden Max D, Hurricane Force, and Retro Rebels King Crunch, which I will be probably getting soon, but I am giving you a preview that I will be doing reviews on these very, very soon, and I can't wait for all these to also debut in my upcoming next Monster Jam sign-up series, so thank you very much for enjoying my review. Until next time, this is Cameron at Pinchy08, signing and pinching out. Take care.